Text on screen, arts and disability logo. The Delineate program is an arts partnership between Accessible Arts and the Don't Dis My Ability campaign run by Family and Community Services, which seeks to enrich arts and disability creative initiatives across New South Wales. Cementa 17, Assisted Residency, is a recipient of 2016-17 Delineate funding. Pastoral Landscape Rolling Mist Sunrise Flying over country fields. Mountain range. Alex Wizza. Cementa is a four day contemporary art festival in the town of Candos. It happens every two years. We exhibit artworks across the town. So we have 20 venues from churches to museums, the community hall, a convent. We have a, a vacant shop front. We bring up around 60 artists, it seems. They all do uh, residencies and they're asked to make work that relates to or activates some element uh, or dimension of the town or the region. A man paints. Artist installation. Smoking ceremony. Artist talk. Artworks. Public performances. Gabriel Mori. Our first few visits to Candos, we really just came out and hung out in the environment and spent time in places. I think what was really important was allowing Skye to have that time for play and have that time to come out and to feel the landscape and to feel the community. So we went out to Dunswamp, we um, hung out around the town and it was then that she came to this pine forest behind the scout hall and, and that's when she got the, the reaction to this place and that's where the, the snowflake shaman was born. <laughs> The view is amazing from up here. <laughs> Car on Main Street, Sky Saxon. I um, helped guide the students, make the pieces. Some made crown pieces, some made masks, some made chicken feet. Gabriel Morty. When we were designing the workshop, that decision emerged from reflecting on where Sky's work comes from and coming from that that space of relaxation and that, that, that dream life space. And so giving the students an opportunity to think about where creative ideas come from and then to have that space of play afterwards, to have that space of play with materials. Alex Wizzer and it was so good because one, you know, you got to see her take this leadership role and the kids responded brilliantly. Like the work that they produced was so much fun. For me, I think that's what art's about. If you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Student holds up artwork, Sky Saxon. It's not every day you get to play as your favorite character. We're working of this one, very similar to the headdress. The colours of the TP is going to be more bluish, whitish colours. At first I thought it was so simple, but then when I saw the pegs and all that, to hold it in place, I thought, wow, this is not as simple as it looks. Drawings of TPs, Gabriel Morty. What's been a strength about this work is drawing upon the skills of some of the, the artist community that, that we know. So we've worked a lot with Earth. Um, visual and physical theatre and an artist that we knew through Earth, Aisha Henderson. Sky has designed the TP, and then Aisha has been working closely to um, actually construct the TP. Sky Saxon. In costume started of me drawing sketches, choosing the colours I wanted to use. Gabrielle Morty. Claire Choi is a textile artist, so she worked closely with Sky in bringing together the costume. Artist cuts material. We went and consulted with a practicing shaman called Diana Leach, and Diana gave Sky some great advice about things like the cleansing power of salt. Bags of salt, piles of wood, Sky Saxon. You're supposed to feel like when the dark's lifted, a nice, cool, icy snap of refreshing water. I don't think that's why it's a snowflake shaman. 
Not just a really good feeling, but a really enlightened feeling. At the end of it all, you should feel like you're floating on air, like on a hammock of fluffy clouds. Artist performs in TP. Alex Wizer. These are good artists, and the perspective that they bring on our contemporary society, it's unique. It enriches the, you know, the conversation that we're having. Gabrielle Morty. What I really, really love about this work now, particularly when you find it at night, is that you leave Candle Central, then you drive up these, these dark roads at the back of Candles, then you turn the corner, and then you see this absolutely glowing tent in the darkness of the pine forest. And I really can now see manifest the vision that Skye had when she first came and encountered the pine forest. Artist in pine forest looks to camera. Alex Wizer, co-director, Cementer, Gabriel Morty, artistic director, CEO, Studio A, Sky Saxon, artist, Studio A, Hugh Clark, filmmaker, Christina Tito, arts development manager, Jane Easton, communications manager. Special thanks to Tom Roberts, Emma Johnston, Candles High School and students, Earth, Aisha Henderson, Claire Choi, Diana Leach, Anne Hinchcliffe, Cementer's 17 artists and performance participants. Don't Diss My Ability logo, Family and Community Services logo, in partnership with Don't Diss My Ability campaign and Family and Community Services. Studio A logo, Cementa 17 Contemporary Arts Festival Candos logo. Produced by Accessible Arts, Arts Development Accessible Arts logo, www.arts.net.au.